Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to be back, amen, to come forth with just a word of wisdom, a word of fellowship, amen, just to encourage you to trust in the name, the name of the Most High, the living God, our Lord and our Savior. It's so good to know the name of the Most High, amen. For the word of God says in the book of Psalms, Psalms 9, verse chapter verse 10 excuse me it says those who know your name trust in you for you lord have never forsaken those who seek you amen those who know your name trust in you for you lord have never forsaken those who seek you. And it's so important to know the name of God and not just to know the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but to know the name and to trust in him. Amen. To know him as your Lord, to believe and have faith that he will never forsake you, nor will he leave you. But as long as you can continue to seek him, Abba Father will be there. He will never abandon you. He will never neglect you. He will never allow you to experience those things that brings harm to you. But you have to know his name. For there is no name higher than the name of Jesus Christ. No name higher, no name greater than the name of Jesus. The word of God says that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess Jesus as Lord. Amen. Because he is our Lord. He is our Savior. And we give him the highest praise as we begin to enter into worship, as we begin to trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in him. They that know him. Amen. They will be filled with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They will know and understand the grace of God. Amen. For God is a loving God. He is a kind God. He is a faithful God. He is a just God. So tonight, put your trust in him. No matter what is going on in your life, put your trust in him. Believe in God. Believe in the Lord, our Savior. Believe in him. Have faith in him. Trust him. For there is no other God like him. There is no other God like him. You can't experience no other God but him. He is the almighty living God, Jehovah Jireh, the God who supplies all our needs. He is our our God who provides our all provision God. He is the Lord who anoints us and fills our cup up until it runneth over. He is the God of Israel, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Just begin to praise him. Amen. Begin to praise him right where you are. Trust in him. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't be moved by what you hear. Don't be moved by what you feel, but make sure you discern him, discern his presence and begin to break and renounce anything that has caused harm to you and other people and ask for forgiveness, ask for his grace upon your life, ask him to move upon you. As he did on the face of the earth. Ask him to move. Because tonight. God wants you to experience heaven. Amen. So we're going to enter into worship. And I just want you to yield your members to God. Surrender your will to him. And trust him. Because he is a living God. He is a good God. The atmosphere is changing now For the Spirit of the Lord is here The evidence is all around That the Spirit of the Lord is here The atmosphere the atmosphere is changing now. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all. 
can happen now. A miracle can happen now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We just bless God. Amen. We just bless his name right now. We just thank God for the anointing. We thank God for the anointing. We thank him for the atonement of the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We thank God that he sanctifies us and renews us and strengthens us. Amen. I pray for you, whoever's listening, that you allow God to invade you. That you allow God to have his way to invade your heaven. To invade, let heaven invade you. Invade you right now where you are here on earth. Wherever you are right now, I pray that you allow the spirit of God to make connection with you now. To bring forth your miracles. To change everything that needs to be changed in your life. But it takes submission. It takes a miracle. It takes you to begin to have faith and trust in the most high living God. To trust in his name. To know his name. To activate and ignite his name over everything that concerns you. Whatever's concerning you right now. Whatever the trouble may be in your life. I pray that you will seek ye first the kingdom of God. I pray that you will seek him first. I pray that you will seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I pray that you will yield your members unto the most high living God. I pray that you will cry out, Abba, Father, hear my cry. Hear my heart, Lord. I permit you, God, to invade me. I permit you to take residence in my life, Abba Father. In me, around me, with all that contends with me. God, I just thank you for your grace and mercy. For whoever's listening right now, I speak the blood of Jesus over them right now. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. I speak the blood of the lamb that they will be soaked in the blood of Jesus. Soaked in the blood. All that concerns them will be soaked, soaked in the blood of Jesus. The mighty one. The mighty one, the living one, the great I am, the Lord of my salvation, the Lord of our deliverance. So God, we just praise you right now. We just bless your name right now. Just give God praise and thanks right now for your miracle, your supernatural miracle, supernatural healing, restoration. And I'm not talking about your regular supernatural. I'm talking about something that only can be happen with God with his presence with his Holy Spirit in the mighty name of his son Yeshua Jesus for God said behold I have given you power behold I have given you authority over all things to step on snakes and scorpions and no harm will come to you Luke chapter 10 verse 19 God is saying submit to me Resist the devil and submit to me. Draw nigh unto me and resist the devil and he shall flee from you. God is speaking to you. Rest your case with Abba Father. Take your cares to him because he loves you. He loves you. He loves us. Take it to him. Yield it to him. Put his name on it. Lord, I put your name on it, Lord. Because I know your name and I trust in your name. And your name produces life. Life. Oh, Sunday. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now, God. Who's ever listening to me, hearing the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray that they will receive your grace. Your grace to take back everything what the enemy has stolen from them. Yea, God, I pray, Lord, that they will receive your grace, your grace to take back everything the enemy has stolen from them in the name of Jesus. 
Father, I pray in the name of your son, Jesus. I pray life over them. I speak life, abundant life over them, over everything that concerns them, everything that contends with them in the name of your son, Jesus. I pray, God, that they will accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I pray that they will believe him and trust in his name and speak life. Allow the life of you to manifest and invade them right now. And everything that was dead will live again. It will come alive again. Because of the resurrected power of your son, Yeshua. Because of the resurrected power, everything that was dead shall live. What the enemy meant for bad, God, you made it for their good. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we speak the anointing right now through the name of Christ. We release Christ. Let the word Christ be ignited in their hearts, in their belly. Let it be a bubbling, a bubbling of your presence. Let the spirit of the Lord overwhelm them. Fill them up, fill them up until they can't be filled no more. Yea, God, not my will, but Abba Father, but your will, Father. Oh, Baba Yay, Baba Yay, we call you Father, Father, for you are the most high living God, and we bless your name, God. I bless your name, God, and I thank you for the anointing upon their lives right now. Let the anointing be upon their life right now, God. Let the anointing and the virtue, power, make contact with their life right now make contact with their prayers right now i pray that whoever's listening that you will begin to command you will begin to make declarations that everything that was dead you shall recover it all in the name of jesus everything that was dead that was dead you shall recover it all as you begin to release christ as you begin to speak christ the anointing and his anointed one as you begin to allow the virtue power of God to make connection with your body make connection with your prayer life that you will begin to command that you will begin to decree and declare the promises of God yay God yay God so we bless your name tonight that healing shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Restoration shall be your portion in the rest in in the name of Jesus. That's it. We just speak restoration over you right now. Complete restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. And I'm your host, Prophetic Utterance. May God give you double portion. Double, 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 double. In Jesus' name. Amen.